So, um, a while back, a friend of mine, Highways, started DEF CON 101. He wanted to let people know that, you know, if you haven't been here before, this is what you can expect. It was a lot, of, a lot of it was fun, some of it was, you know, serious, but either way, ultimately what it did was it set the ground rules so that you understand what you're doing when you're at DEF CON. Who here has never been to DEF CON before? That's awesome. Oh, that's amazing. You guys have no idea how awesome that is. That is awesome. This is DEF CON. I'm a noob. Everybody was a noob at something, at something, sometime. As they said on Adventure Time, sucking at something is the first step to being good at it. <laughs> so, with that, you know, I just want everybody to know, you are in a, in a community. Everybody, at some point, didn't know how to do something sometime. The awesome thing about DEF CON is there are a lot of volunteers here. These are people who want to help you. Now, some of them are gonna to wanna to help you get from room to room, some of them are gonna to wanna to help you actually understand stuff. We're gonna go over all kinds of cool stuff about DEF CON, and we're gonna go over a uh, few rules too. First, welcome to Las Vegas. <laughs> Pace yourself, you've got a few days. So, you don't wanna end up like this guy. You know, it's uh, actually pretty important. Stay hydrated, you are in the desert. Um, try and keep a good balance. You know, it's, I'm not saying don't have a good time because you truly, honestly want to have a good time. And having a few beers, having some drinks, that, that's cool. But don't go overboard because, first of all, you don't want to miss awesome talks. And second of all, you certainly don't want to be hung over in the desert. That sucks. All right, there's important things you need to know. The countdown. We're going to count down from three. Three, you're gonna get three hours of sleep a night, at least. Without this sleep, you are not gonna be able to function. Trust me. The first year that I was here, I was on uh, Capture the Flag. We operated in 12 hour shifts. The second year that I came to DEF CON, we did Capture the Flag, and it was 36 hours straight. Yeah. And then I slept through the rest of DEF CON, it was awesome. <laughs> He's never actually recovered either. <laughs> so, Get at least three hours sleep a night. You gotta be able to function. You need at least two meals a day. You definitely want to make sure that you have your energy up, because there's a lot of walking. I did 20,000 steps yesterday. By 11 o'clock, I had done 10,000 of those steps. So, you know, this is one of those things. You need to keep your energy up. One, everybody needs to bathe at least once a day, please. <laughs> <laughs> the, <laughs> brush your teeth. Brush your teeth. Sure. You know this is this is something that, that some people sometimes forget. You're in the desert. You are going to get stinky. So you know, if, even if you don't recognize that you're stinky, recognize that your fellow human may recognize that you're stinky. So please take that bath. Defcon crud. How many of you have left a conference and then you were sick on the way home and you're like, oh, I must have got something at the hotel. Must have got something on the airplane. Uh-uh. <laughs> you got something at, at the conference. Fist your friends. <laughs> Feel free. Fist every single one of them. It's going to be good for you. It feels so good, too. Trust me. <laughs> you know, I, got, I, had to, I had to pee really bad. So I'm running around trying to get here on time. And I watched three guys. Leave the bathroom without, pee, uh, without washing their hands. I know, come on, dude. Are they on the stage? No. no. <laughs> so, help me out here. Don't be a dick. We're gonna say this after a few of these uh, slides. This is Dick, as you can see, Dick is an evil hacker. Evil hackers are always depicted as either having hoodies or a ski mask. That's how I like to type. <laughs> and, and, or a black hat. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna, here are some of the basics. Hold the door. You're not the only person in this conference. I don't know if you've noticed. There's a lot of people around. There's a lot of people in the hallway. So hold the door. Try and keep your head up. Please, you know, <laughs> it's fun 
when I'm standing on the side and watching people walk into other people, you know, because they're it, it buried in their phone or they're buried in their uh, tablet or they're buried in the program. But try and keep your head up and pay attention. Um, and for God's sake, don't hold a family reunion in the middle of the hall. There isn't enough room for everybody to be able to do that. So if you get an opportunity and you recognize, oh, there's more than two of us, let's step to the side. So don't be a dick. Do not be an asshat. <laughs> Do not ruin everybody's time. You know, everybody is here to have a good time. We're here, you know, we're here to learn, we're here to meet friends, we're here to, to keep up with friends, but the object here is to have a good time. And there are a few, pe a few people, a few bad seeds that are gonna try and ru ruin everybody's good time. Don't be one of them. Because, you know, we're okay. We're cool. This room's cool. There are people that aren't cool. And you, if you're an asshat to them, they're, they're going to be an asshat to you back. And you, don't, you just don't want that karma coming around. Please do not heckle. You may, you're welcome to heckle me. This is an interactive talk. So if, you want, if anybody has anything that they want to say at any point, there should be two microphones. You know, feel free. Get up. If you, can, if you don't want to get to the microphone, stand up. Hold your hand up. Let me know. And shout it out. Can I have a hug? After the, after the talk. <laughs> after the talk. <laughs> Whoops. Remember, uh, see, slide, see the previous slide. <laughs> that was an ass hat. <laughs> <laughs> All right, hugs. This is one that everybody, you know, my shirt, free hugs here, awkward hugs. Because not everybody wants you to hug them. I have my, my boss is here. He probably does not want to hug from me. You know, you know, and I just met his nephew. He probably does not want to hug from me. If I offer them a hug, they may actually take it. And then it's an awkward hug. You know, that will uh, ask permission. Um, phones. <laughs> who, who has an Android phone? <laughs> Don't hold it up. Yeah. We were just yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Read Who the is rest scared of the sentence. To death right now. This has been a bad week for Android. Dude, my iPhone friends are trying to send me messages and I'm not downloading them. <laughs> there are a lot of people here. There are a lot of phones here. There are a lot of cameras here. Expect to be in a picture. Not everybody wants to have their picture taken. We understand that. But, you know, there are going to be times where you're in a crowd, you're in a public place. Somebody may take your picture. If they do, kindly go up and ask them to delete it if you don't want them to, to have it. Otherwise, expect their, you know, your face may show up somewhere. There's a lot of press here. I think there's a record number of press here this year. Um, there are film crews and all kinds of other things. You may end up on TV. You may end up in a movie. You could end up on this guy's camera. <laughs> Which all goes back to the don't be an ass hat too. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so if you do end up uh, on any of these and you don't want to, just, you know, let the guy know. Here's one. Not everything is free. Notice I put this one in fine print. Just because you see something laying out doesn't mean it's free. Especially, you know, you're going to go into the vendor area. You're going to go into some of the contests and villages. They've got stuff laying out. It doesn't mean that it's yours to take or touch, you know. So make sure that it's appropriate if you're doing something. Yes, stand up. If you find a USB stick on the ground, by all means, pick it up. You didn't happen to be a black hat, did you? <laughs> so, for those of you who didn't hear it over the laughter, he said, if you find a USB stick uh, on the ground, please, by all means, pick it up and then put it in your personal computer to read and see what it is. <laughs> <laughs> Especially the ones that might always excite you. Yes, if you have a work computer and, and you do, uh, you know, government work on it, by all means. <laughs> Because my social security number and uh, information isn't out there enough. <laughs> there are five billion Chinese people, and I think most of them have it now. <laughs> so, have a plan. 
black, there's a lot of stuff going on here. You have a black program in your bag and it's got all the talks. And you'll notice this room filled up. There are people that didn't make it in or there are people that are standing and boy, is it gonna suck because you guys got another 80 minutes to stand. Woo but you know, it's, uh, so try and have a plan. Make sure that you know what you're gonna do. Feel free. Don't um, be afraid to camp out. If you see a talk, and it's not necessarily you know, a talk that, it's okay. It may or may not be a good talk, and we're gonna get to that in a second. Um, but you know, say it's a talk that you don't wanna attend, but the one afterwards you do, and you know that there's gonna be a line around the corner, consider camping out. You're you killing me, Smalls, you know that? What's that? <laughs> You're screwing with my system. <laughs> <laughs> um, now, the talk. <laughs> There is no such thing as a bad talk. I can tell you from the uh, call for papers review board, there is such a thing as a bad talk. But the, the approved talks, there is no, no such thing as a bad talk. Just because you don't like it doesn't mean it's bad. Just because you think you know doesn't mean that everybody knows. In fact, that is probably the two most common things that I, that I hear in the hallways. Oh, that talk's is gonna suck, or psh, everybody knows that shit. It's not the case. Not everybody knows it, and not everybody is uh, thinking that this is going to suck. So, you know, if you don't like it, that's awesome. You're entitled to that privilege and, and opinion, but um, don't try and, you know, mess it up for anybody else. See the asshat slide. There are a lot of villages this year. Villages are awesome because villages are where you can go and get hands on. Notice the villages come after the talks. The, the, a lot of the talks are going to play into the villages. You're going to see a lot of different things, um, whether there's a biohacking talk or a car hacking talk or let's go down. I, Internet of Things talk. There's all kinds of uh, IoT talks. And, and now you can go to these villages. You can hear additional talks at those villages and you can get some hands-on experience too, especially hardware hacking village, crypto and privacy village, uh, lockpick village, social engineering village. If, if you haven't stopped there, you have to stop there at least once. Um, leave your wallet in your pocket. Just so you know, the SE Village actually does have stuff going on today. So you can go over to Ballet's and get in there. They do have um, activities and talks and that kind of stuff happening today. Thank you, sir. Um, and of course, the Wireless Village. There's a uh, uh, wireless capture the flag. Please, sir, you just came in. Come up front. <laughs> he looks lost. <laughs> is that lost? Is that lost isn't that tall. Is that the Monopoly man? All right. <laughs> now, contests and events. There are way too many contests and events to list. I'm not going to, you know, I'd like to hear some highlights. Here's the highlight. Lost Challenge. <laughs> lost Challenge is one of the hardest challenges there, there is. It will take all of your time. Anything that you have access to at, at DEF CON probably contributes to Lost Challenge. Anything that somebody else has probably contributes. No, I've got a goon badge, this helps. Makes noise too. I've got a vendor badge, vendor badge helps. I've got a pre, uh, speaker uh, badge. It all contributes. So, you know, get out and meet people. Ask them, if you're gonna participate in this, I highly encourage you to try and meet somebody. What'd you guys drop? Hmm? The mic. Oh, what? Steel ball. Dude, you didn't even tell a joke. You can't drop the mic. Swag, <laughs> Swag and vendors. Swag is open today. Vendors opens tomorrow. This is awesome. DEF CON is unique. Obviously, we've got DEF CON branded stuff. But, uh, you know, for a conference, a, a computer security conference, hacker conference, we have a vendor area. And it's actual vendors. This isn't, um, you know, like DEF CON. It's not RSA, it's not any place like that. When you go in, you can buy stuff. We don't intend to have it be an area where, you know, you're overwhelmed by bright lights and uh, lots of stuff that you're never gonna be able to afford. You may never even use. Now, we've got guys that everybody in there contributes something to the community. Um, and so, you know, it opens tomorrow and I think that you guys will like it. Prepare to separate yourself from your money. Demo labs and workshops are new to DEF CON this year. Demo labs, they're a brief introduction into uh, you know, different uh, tools and projects. 
and workshops or training opportunities. Um, the workshops are actual hands-on, 48 hours of training opportunities that you just can't get. If you were a black hat, any, any of you were the, that were at black hat, you know, $4,000 for a class, it might not be $50, it could be free for the, for the workshops. So if you didn't uh, sign up, consider um, signing up. They're full now though. They're full now. <laughs> They're so full. if you didn't sign up, consider signing up next year. Yeah, or <laughs> camp out. That's what I heard was good too, just camp out. Talks, talks. <laughs> Nikita. <laughs> All right. You. So I have a, a group of people that are sitting up here and the reason that I asked them to come up is because as much as I love to hear myself talk, mm -hmm. I want you guys to get some more uh, uh, a feeling of, of an understanding of you know, what's involved with being at DEF CON, how do you get involved, how do you participate, what can you do to participate. So these guys are going to give you some experience. Uh, some of them are going to be experiences, some of them are going to be um, this is what I do in my department. Some of them are going to be, you know, I have one, this is brand new on the panel. We actually have an attendee, one of you guys, that we asked to be participate. Yep, down at the end. And he's going to give you a story about, you know, how he got into DEF CON. And, and it's actually a pretty inspirational story. So, um, we're going to start it off, not in this order. I'm going to start with Russ, because he's sitting right next to me. Um, and Russ is going to give you whatever he wants to give you. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, who wants a fist? <laughs> yeah, there you go. That's not where I want it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Why'd you say that? My name's Russ. I am the chief of operations for the conference. I've scared Nikita off. You're safe. Um, I have been here, this is my 17th DEF CON in a row. Um, I'm not a noob anymore. Um, Basically, I, it excites me to see all the new attendees come every year because I think it adds a lot intellectually, creativity, um, your experiences, your inputs, your insight, your research. I'm going to tell you the same thing that everybody up here is going to tell you, and you're going to get tired of hearing it before this talk is over. And you will get out of DEF CON what you put into it. And I helped over the years get a lot of these activities, the villages, contests, started. And the people that have the best fun, the people that are out there really writing cool blogs or doing cool research or people that actually got involved, met people, made new friends and did cool stuff. Uh, you don't have to be a jerk to learn a lot of cool stuff. So I want you to go out, do a lot of things, learn a lot of things. Um, I brought my kids for the first time this year. Um, after 17 years, that should tell you something. I haven't been really comfortable with it in the past. Um, you know, DEF CON of old was different. It was a bunch of us that got together. You know, I started at DEF CON 6. It was at the Plaza. I think we had about three or 400 people there. And that, if you think about it, that's about the population of this room, maybe. And that was the entirety of DEF CON 6. And everybody sat around and we did a lot of hacking and we learned a lot of things. I mean, there were people sitting down showing other folks how to make a network cable. Because at the time, that was still a fairly new thing unless you were in the field. Um, there was, you know, switching and routing and all this interesting stuff. And they were still writing Windows exploits that you could do across the internet and break boxes. And people sat around and had conversations. So if you want to have the most fun you can possibly have here, um, aside from the fisting thing, <laughs> um, seriously, get involved, do stuff, in the red shirts, if you have a question, ask them. You know, I've directed more people this morning to where things are or to answer questions. I love doing it. Because if you'll get involved and you'll go do things, that's, that's why I do this. Thank you, Russ. So, um, you know, Russ is right. Ask. Meet people. You know, I just got a business card today. It's actually kind of fun. Mm -hmm for an international DEF CON meetup. One of the th cool things that, that is, um, is that DEF CON is international. There are a lot of people here. But you may not recognize that there's somebody that's here that speaks your language. That, you know, and we all have something in common, and that's the technology. But there's also the, the fact that um, we can find other people that 
uh, speak the same language so that we're more comfortable. Um, so feel free, ask around. Um, Nikita is awesome. Shit. She's not going to tell you that she's awesome, but she is. She's amazing. She runs the back of the house. And, you know, and she has <laughs> up a crew the back of, uh, of people. And, you know, to have Nikita be able to organize this stuff. For those of you that don't know, um, we start planning this in September. Nikita. <laughs> so, <laughs> so we will be... <laughs> <laughs> the spelling. Oh yeah, that's awesome. It's Nikita. N A. It's N I K I T A. No, it's not. <laughs> that, <laughs> no, that's it's spot not. on spelling. Not now. That that's is exactly not. what I have in my phone. Yes, yeah, that's that is now perfect. <laughs> Slash Nick. Okay. Yeah. So <laughs> backdoor <laughs> crew member. Can you give us a little idea of? I love you, Big Sis. <laughs> Don't be an asshat. I'm just going to take that with grace and move on. So, uh, what did you ask me? <laughs> Give me, um, you know, yesterday we were talking a little bit about the, um, the things that you do, the things that, that people don't recognize, um, that don't understand what it takes to make this happen. Just do a list. Yeah, so you can do a list. We've got seven in like binary. It, it takes patience and um, uh, a love for all of you fuckers. <laughs> because if if I didn't have that um, that feeling of belonging, I would not work. You know, sixteen, twenty-hour days sometimes, or you know, answer yeah. guys at major browsers at three in the morning to register them for a workshop on a Sunday um, because I'm doing it manually by email. <laughs> um, uh, I do the CFP review board. I manage um, when you submit a talk to speak here, I am the one who gets it and then passes it to the board and you know handles all your questions for speaker liaising. Um, I help plan pretty much every aspect. Scheduling, <laughs> Scheduling floor, floor plan, um, workshops. Um, I've, I've started numerous contests um, and events, but here's the thing that I do. I don't have time to do them. I just want to give you a really good idea and you will run it. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm, I'm relatively good at that. Um, I, I don't know. I do a lot of crap. I don't know. That's right. Stuff and things. She does stuff and things. Nikita sells herself short. You know, call for review, um, call for papers is ridiculous because the number of people that submit talks uh, is enormous. And the fact that she has to wrangle every bit of that. Um, you know, we talk, I, I just said, we start planning in September and the reality is we do. Actually, Nikita has already started planning for next year. You know, so these are these are things that yeah. You know, I just wanted you to get it, uh, you guys, to understand that yeah, DefCon is is what it is. You guys pay two hundred and thirty dollars, but uh, and you get into it what you uh, put into it, like Russ said. But there are a lot of people that put a lot of stuff into it. There's a lot of, that goes into it. There are volunteers that, you know, for some people it's a part time job. I can tell you, you know, doing the vendor, it's a part time job just trying to wrangle that, and that starts in September as well. Um, so, Ali John actually um, talked last year for a, a panel, and he gave a little bit of an experience, and Ali John is, is a good example of what happens when you meet people, um, you know, through common experiences, but really what we tried to do was bring Ali John into the fold, out of his shell, All right. <laughs> so I've been attending DEF CON for six years now. The first three, I was doing Lost's Mystery Challenge, and that was one of the best things ever. You have to interact with so many different people at so many different skill levels, crypto, uh, 
different languages, Korean, uh, Chinese, uh, lock picking, everything under the sun. So having that connection with a whole bunch of people, amazing. I still stay in touch with all of them. They're in different companies across the country, across different industries. So if you need something a few years down the road, you can call them up and be like, hey, how's it going? I need X. But, um, not that. Don't oh, no, 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 <laughs> not, not what I meant. Oh, okay, cool. Next one. <laughs> Thank you, IO Active. <laughs> but the only other thing I have to say is I would not be where I am today if it wasn't for everybody in this room. Probably not you guys specifically, but you know, Mike and Russ and a whole bunch of others. So thank you guys. No, nothing. But I still love you. You know, um, I'm going to take a second. You see this shirt. It says, I, Hi, I'm new. Um, I actually have a whole bunch of these shirts. And I want to hand a few out before we get down to the, some of these other guys. Jeremy, can you help me? Of course. Okay, awesome. I will show you where to throw them. Okay. No <laughs> point. Okay. I, that, well, first of all, I want to say these two guys right here up front. Pick me. First, Which one? First group of anyone. I didn't know you the first year. Oh, second. Oh, second year. They tried to se the information. They were like, oh yeah, we're gonna help line up. Can I get a goon badge? I was like, wow, really? Wow. That's <laughs> they're starting them that young now. That's awesome. So yeah. There you go. <laughs> and then other than that. Toss that way. That way, huh? Woo! Try not to hit the Perfect. All right, I'm going to have a few more of these, too, because we're going to play. Jay's got really big arms. He can throw far. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> there we go. Even the back row gets stuff. <laughs> It's your birthday. It's Happy my birthday. birthday. Let me see your ID. Let me see your ID and make sure. Shirt somewhere else. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Lesson number one. OPSEC. All right. So, you know, Jeremy, I've, I've said his name out loud a couple of times. Jeremy and I are friends. We've been friends Who's for a while. Jeremy? And, yeah, uh, who's Jeremy? Yes. That's Crypt, bitch. Uh, my name is Crypt, bitch. Don't, yeah, <laughs> don't be an asshat. Um, <laughs> Jeremy has just always been involved, but not in an official capacity until recently. We really can't get recently. rid of him. <laughs> I mean, we're ch we've been trying every so, year. Yeah, so now Jeremy's actually involved, and I want him to, to give you guys an understanding of, you know, from his standpoint, he just involved himself. Big time. Which is awesome if you're an awesome person. I'm a good fister. <laughs> Ding. <laughs> I feel a little over-involved. So, please um, uh, take as long as you'd like to speak. Oh, Lord. You don't want to tell me that. Yeah. You got, dude, I got another hour. Can I hold this little penis? <laughs> I thought it was when it was up to... Ding. No? <laughs> Ding. Ding. <laughs> um, my name's Jeremy Crypt. Most people will know me as Crypt here. Um, Crypt here. No, not Crypt here. I'm just crypt. Um, I, I, I don't even, I don't count the number of times I've come. Definitely not as much as these guys, but uh, wow, that was crazy. No one got me on crazy. Crazy. <laughs> wow. This year. Um, I will say that my experience at DEF CON has been all about people. Um, I've wanted to do the contests. I've wanted to do everything. I, I um, get to hang out with Ryan a lot, the uh, Lost, um, and he always starts off talking about the contest, and then I'm like, I, now I can't do it. <laughs> so um, it's all about the people around me, the people I've met. Uh, there's a lot of people, I mean, like these two, I'll probably see them throughout the entire con. Um, I met some people in registration, um, in the registration line, talked for about 20 minutes, I think Jay and I did. Just sat. I'm Jay. I will say, um, from my experience and for yours, it's been said a lot, but it cannot be said enough, is talk to the people around you and find things to do. I've seen um, people sit down in the hallways, um, especially back when it was at Rio when you had the pads. They would just sit right in the middle of the floor because they had the, uh, 
the stickers on the ground and just sit and talk. And I just walk right up to them and sit down and start talking. And it's one of the only places I've ever been where that's okay. And it's actually kind of cool. Um, um, I don't have any friends outside of Con, basically, and so I come here to meet people. <laughs> yeah, I don't have any friends. But, um, um, yeah, so I came a couple years ago, I think at DEF CON 20 is the first time I was working um, to help um, one of the artists here, Eddie Mize, who is an amazing artist. Um, he's it's set up in the vendor right now, right? Yeah, so he'll be set up in vendor. Um, I had worked with him. Um, we made the drive from Colorado to Vegas, um, and I just got to meet a lot of people as they came and bought the art. Yes, yes he's awesome. And um, so with that, I then started just meeting more and more people. I mean, I'd worked with Russ as well. Um, and then I think the next year, what, 20, oh, 21 is actually when my grandmother died. Aww. Yeah, that's a sad story. I'm yeah. sorry. I just, I just remembered as I'm going through. And then 22. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on past that. No, um, I guess the big part is we all here want to, apparently we can't hug anymore. How's the hugging? We We're hug. allowing that to ask, go? It just says ask first. Okay, asking for hugs. <laughs> sorry, I just remembered my grandmother. I'm, I'm sorry, guys. Um, let's see, hugs. Appreciate that. Um, <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna say, yeah, you. let's, get, I I'm need a second. You move on. Thank you, yeah. yeah. I um, totally forgot you know, about that. It, it, Jeremy actually is a really good example because, you know, wow. he's like about half the beat. He's the opposite of me. My first two years at uh, DEF CON, I went in, I did CTF, I went back to my room, that was it. I interacted with the people that are on, on my team and that was it. I'm scared to death to meet people. This is something that most people don't know about me, but it, it is true. I really have a hard time. And it's awesome to be in an area, a community, where you, even if I don't know you, that's fine. You can come up and chat with me and we'll talk. Um, but I didn't used to be like that. Jeremy is the <laughs> opposite of that. Jeremy is the kind of guy who will go up and talk to you. Um, Ali John, he'd do the same thing. Um, so, you know, it's, like, it, it's a good example of, of being able to be involved. There's a common theme here, involvement. Um, now, Jay, actually. I'm Jay. <laughs> Hi, Jay. Also, much like uh, Jeremy, but without the sad story. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I might I'll get in trouble for that later. Uh, you know, it, he's the same way. Jay is awesome. Jay is uh, um, the kind of guy that you're going to meet and you're going to feel like you've known him forever. Um, so, uh, you know, I'd, I'd actually like Jay to talk to you and actually tell you about himself, because you will feel like you've known him forever. <coughs> Can he have a mic? Can I have a... Thanks. Just Blue or one. red? Just yell. Just because it's my second one. Is that a way in? Yes. Okay. Hi, so uh, I'm Jay. Nice to meet you, everybody. Nice Hi. To meet you. Hi, Jay! <laughs> if we can go around the room and introduce ourselves. <laughs> no? Okay. All right. So, um, this is actually my uh, second DEF CON. My first one was last year. Uh, and I, I came uh, uh, with, with this guy here, Jeremy. He told me that, uh, or Crypt, I apologize, Cryptier. He told me that, uh, <laughs> it's Cryptier? It's not Cryptier anymore? I hate you. Okay. <laughs> so he, he told me to come out to uh, DEF CON. I was like, what the heck is a DEF CON? So um, uh, he told me kind of what was involved and, and how exciting it was. Does it say Cryptier? Yes. <laughs> nice. <laughs> That's legit. So, um, came out here and I got to meet a whole bunch of new people and uh, to be honest, kind of the, uh, the hacker industry. That's legislate? <laughs> you, you know who gets to fix those typos later? Ikea. You do? Me. And Leah. Oh, do you? I you edit those, yes. Yeah. Uh, Chung Kwa Pao. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that even means. <laughs> we'll see what comes up. This is fun. This is fun. <laughs> yeah. We can do this all day. Oh. I love you, transcriber. Man. <laughs> all right. So anyway, so uh, again, the whole, the whole computer crypto world is, 
<laughs> is really new to me. Uh, this is amazing. I can't believe it takes what I'm saying and puts it up there. But um, so I'm more of a talker. You know, I enjoy uh, speaking to people and, and getting out there and meeting people. And I'm very, uh, very social and very easily to, uh, very easy to approach, I guess would be best. Approachable, yeah. Uh, approachable. There's a word for that. Mm-hmm. There we go. I'm very approachable. Um, easy going. You know, if you ask me a question, I'll give you an answer. But I promise, uh, whatever you ask me, whatever information I give you, I'll get twice as much information from you. So uh, please, um, please be ready and be aware of that. So I did meet uh, one of the guys here last night. He's actually sitting over there. Sid, right? I believe? All right. I'm pretty good with names. Uh, Billy. And um, we do... Uh, all right. Anyway, so I was talking with Sid. And he was just asking me a few questions. I like giving him some pointers and, and um, kind of letting him know, uh, as everybody else here said, just get involved and go meet people and talk to people. And uh, one of the things he came up with, I thought it was pretty cool, was um, be curious. So, you know, if you, you know, curiosity is a good thing. So go ask people what's going on. Say, hey, where is this? How can I do that? How does this happen? And, and how does this work? And uh, be humble. Don't, uh, don't be the guy who says, uh, you know, as Mike said, Psh, I know that already. It's no big deal. So, you know, kind of be humble and say, hey, that's cool. You know, I'm, I'm glad you're teaching me something new. And then uh, so it's curiosity, humility and respect. So be respectful to people. So uh, that's the thing that I've learned here is, is if you have those three things, uh, I think you'll get pretty far here. Uh, that's my little credo. And uh, welcome to Sid. Thanks. Come on, Sid. Stand up. Take credit. Take credit. There he is. So, like I said, whatever uh, I learn from you um, is going to be twofold of what you learn from me. So please come around, run up to me, and ask me what's going on, and uh, we'll figure it out. If you want to know more about me later, um, I'll be up here all day. Awesome. You know, the last person on this panel is uh, Carlos. Carlos is one of you. Um, and I asked Carlos to do, to do this. I met him last year and, uh, after a panel talk, and he told me his story, and his story actually is inspirational to me, maybe not to you guys, but I also uh, and, you know, will get on my sand, uh, soapbox and talk about how awesome DEF CON is. And I will talk about how awesome this, def, this talk is to those people that are leaving. Um, <laughs> But I want Carlos to kind of tell you a little bit about himself, tell you a little bit about his story, and then, um, you know, how he came to be involved also. So, thanks. Hi, everyone. Uh, I'm Plug. My name is Carlos, actually. Uh, I've been coming to that one for a lot of years. Unlike the panel here, I really never, never really got involved. Uh, I came to the States when I was 18, and... Uh, in order to learn English, I figured out that I could okay. buy some magazines, and somehow I found a 2600 magazine that led me to the uh, 2600 meetings in LA. Now, some of the goons here probably know, what they more likely know, that a lot of the goons and people that are in LA have been working at that con for a long time, so I was privileged enough to meet some of them. Unfortunately, my English was pretty limited at the time. Poquito English. Um, so it was tough, you know, to, to be there. Uh, I didn't, my legal status was null, so I, I was in, uh, a legal resident. Um, and it was tough. But, you know, I discovered computers and I really liked them. And so somehow I figured out that there was this conference, DAFCON, and what I did is I took a bus and I ended up here. <laughs> my first DAFCON was pretty short, like maybe three hours short. Um, I walked in that con and I was so happy at the time I think they had these um, like paper uh, thing ah. um, and so what I did is I walked around and I probably looked like the cleaning crew uh, at the Alexis part <laughs> so I was in this guy so it was kind of cool uh, and so I walked around and I just heard people and the first thing that I heard is that there was going to be some cult and I didn't know what the cult was and it was the cult of the dead cow but for me, it was something different. I didn't know. For me, cult was, oh, this is evil. And I kind of got a little sense in there. Uh, but then I heard other people talking about pets. And so apparently, there were going to be pets on the con. Some of them from the FBI, some of them from the CIA. And so I put the two together, and I realized, well, if the pets are here, and we got the FBI, the CIA, well, immigration is here. So I bounced. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.
you gotta survive. So, so that's what I did. It was pretty short, and, and so I ended up going back to the meetings for, for a short time. Uh, I didn't have a car, so I had to take the bus and, and make it to the meetings. But then I stopped. I really got afraid. I thought maybe the beds were there and I could risk everything. Uh, eventually, I managed to uh, meet some people in there and they led me to uh, um, school and they inspired me to, to pursue computers. And so I did. I got involved into college somehow. Uh, that's another story because um, finding people like them, they helped me to um, figure out ways to legally do a lot of stuff. I managed to get my license and a lot of stuff. I tried not to cheat the system because I know I could do it any other way and I tried to do it that way. So I really uh, owe a lot of the 2,600 people uh, the inspiration to try to do it uh, the right way and, and it helped a lot. Anyways, so my second time I was here now legally. So I managed to get my papers and I was now a legal resident and so I came back. It was probably 2003 when I, when I did my second run to Tapcon. Um, on the way here, I was uh, driving with someone. He's a really cool hacker. His uh, handle is Strong uh, Carson. And um, we were driving in the car and somehow he was speeding on me. Uh, we got pulled over by the police. As he was getting a ticket, I panicked. And I was sweating. I really thought that something was going to happen to me. Uh, the idea that you are automatically legal and resident, it's not difficult to digest. And so for me, it was a little tense, really. Um, you know, being on the car and thinking, oh my God, I'm gonna get screwed up. Uh, but you know, I survived. And that was one of my fun times at that con. For the first time, I was able to, to really digest a lot of stuff. I was still pretty shy, but I got involved and I continued to do it for some time. <laughs> then I stopped, just like uh, Jeremy, I'm Crypt, bitch. Sorry. <laughs> crypt, bitch. Hey, crypt, dear. Um, crypt, dear. Crypt, yeah. dear. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of straight down. So, uh, you know, uh, things happen in your life. It, I had my sister pass, too. And so, <laughs> <laughs> no. it, it's not a sad story, but it, it really happened. Uh, what are you doing? What? I'm Crypt, dear. <laughs> We're still looking at that. Uh, anyway, so I came back and the second That's time I came, uh, the third time I came now is that resident. Yeah, I was a um, citizen. So I experienced that con as I transitioned to my legal status, but I made a mistake. I was fortunate enough to meet a lot of cool people. I know some of these people by face, but I never engage. And I know many people that are not here, and I know some of them by faces from many years that I came in. I was hiding, I was really uh, shy and afraid, and, and I didn't want to speak up because I was afraid of my English. And when it came to technical stuff, it was difficult to engage. But at some point I realized that that was not really helping. And so what I decided to do is, you know, come out of the closet, if you want to call that, and then really start talking to people and, and meet people and engage with people and just say, hey, I'm plugging, what are you into? And that really has changed a lot. If you look around, you're surrounded by a lot of people that share your passion. This is about security, technology. You're not gonna find that anywhere else. This is your opportunity to meet people that share the same things that you like. You might meet some of the brightest people in here. And if you don't take advantage of that, you're really losing out. And, and that's one of the things that I learned. I really lose out on some of the things that I could have done better. Now, some of the people here actually helped me in my career. I got into security because of them. Anyways, I don't want to really bore you, but... Uh, you know, the point is that I understand what it's like to be here for the first time. Um, I got some misfortunes and, and I found a way to overcome them. And I met interesting people like Mike, and now I'm meeting more of them. And so it's fun to, to actually do that, to get to meet people and to have fun. If you go out there and, and meet people at the bar, have a drink and whatnot. Um, so, you know, have fun. Uh, engage with people, uh, go to places. If you don't want to do something, try to find something to do. Um, I'll be at the Crypto Village volunteering this year, so if you want to come by and say hi, please do. Um, I don't know if I'm taking too long, or we're doing good. You're done. 
Um, so I'm gonna tell you. <laughs> I, I don't want to, you know, grab the mic, but I'm gonna tell you some other story because this is this is how I got my handle, and I think that handles are something that kind of got lost along the way. When I did the first yeah. Afghan, someone asked me, well, well, "Who are you?" and I came up with something. I couldn't even pronounce it, to be honest. So I thought, "What?" and I had to spell it, and it just didn't sound like the way I did it. So. Anyways, at the 2600 meeting, uh, there was another lost, is the lost from LA, nothing to do with the one here. He was um, Mexican-American, I believe, and he's the one that kind of schooled me on, you know, what the handle was about, because when I introduced him, I said, hey, my name is Carlos, and he's like, dude, do that here, you use the handle. Um, so I came up with, again, something else, and it was really good, so um, it just kind of went like that. But there was some other guy, his handle is Gent, uh, G-H-E-N-T. Uh, probably some of the goons here now, and he, he passed away too. Um, he was a really awesome person. And the way that I got my handle is one day he just said, Hey, hi, I'm Ken. Um, I didn't know what to say. So I looked down, and there were a bunch of power cables, and the first thing that came to my mind is, Hey, I'm Plug. <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it was the easiest thing for me to say, so I, I, really, I really didn't like that, and then it stuck. And, and so I want to tell you that story, because uh, nicknames uh, or handles are, are important. When I came here, it was difficult to, to, to present myself, but the handle is, is one thing that goes with you, is your alter ego. And in my case, as an immigrant, that was perfect. And I want to clarify some other thing. In all the years that I've come here to that con, I never, never, ever encountered someone asking me where I'm from. No, really, done. This is, this is one of the best things. Like, no one comes to say, hey, are you from this place or that place? Um, so... People you, at, like, Microsoft or Rapid7 or... Well, maybe, maybe the vendors, maybe they do want to know where you're from. But, you know, if, if you're here at the con, it doesn't matter. You're here and you're here. You're a geek, techie, or sec. Whatever you want to call yourself, we're here because we love security hey, or plug. something. Hey, plug. We're going to go ahead and go into the, the handles. All right, so we're going to go into handles. I think I spoke too much. But hey, I, like you, I understand. And so please do engage. You know, talk to these people. And before I leave the mic, I really want to say thank you very much. Because these people spend a lot of time putting together this for you guys. So I think we should give him a round of applause. What do you think? So Plug actually did bring up a pretty important point. I have been calling everybody by their name, except for Cryptier. Um, Cryptier? <laughs> what the? <laughs> and, uh, so, you know, your handle is kind of, it, you know, this is a story about you. This is your, it's your, your badge of honor. Um, some people try to make up their own handle, and that rarely works. You know, if you say, I am, as an example... Death Lord Slasher Man. Death Lord Slasher Man. That's Morpheus. Mine. It doesn't yeah. work. How many Morpheuses are out there right now? <laughs> That's on me. Yeah, there's one. That's on me. That's someone. Did I say what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, and, and, or Neo or anything else, you, you know, you want it to be something unique. Russ's handle is Vertigo. It's a fun story. He'll, he'll tell you if he wants to. Yeah, it's great fun. <laughs> <laughs> it's you a good time. Carlos's story uh, as plug. My handle is Wiseacre, and it actually came from um, when I uh, used to work at SEIC, and they were trying to get into... Uh, computer security, and they put out a brochure, brochure that said Black Acre, where security lives, and it was ridiculous. It was absolutely the worst thing that I had ever seen. So I put together one that said Wise Acre, where the smartass lives, and published <laughs> it, and eventually that became my, uh, my handle. Ali John, though, Ali John <laughs> tried really hard to be, <laughs> to be revolver, but he can't be revolver. He, um, because when we met him, he was hanging out over at Black Hat, first time that I met him, and he was wearing a lab coat, and he looked like a miniature version of Joe Grant, Kingpin. <laughs> so we tried to figure out how do we get Ali John a nick that, that reflects a miniature Kingpin. We tried baby pin. Diaper pin. <laughs> Diaper pin. 
These, your nick needs to be fast. You need to be able to say it fast. Push pin. <laughs> Ali John is now push pin. So what we're going to do is I'm going to take 10 volunteers from the audience. Before you volunteer, sir, um, understand that there's a good possibility that we're going to pick on you. Because what you're going to do is you're going to go up to the mic and you're going to tell everybody in this room five things about you that people may or may not know. And I don't want to know what languages you program in. I don't want to know how awesome you are at Destiny. What I want to know is some things I about you as a person. Jeremy might want to know about Destiny. <laughs> that way you guys can play each other. Um, so Jeremy's going to help me out. Um, and I would like to get five volunteers that can tell a story. And I'm going to give an example. I thought you said ten. You said ten. ten. Five, things five, five things. Five things. Ten people, five things. Okay, here, here's one thing about me. I am a cancer survivor. Anybody here that, that has ever heard the phrase cancer brain, it is true, it is a real thing. And this is, you can feel free to laugh. I mean, this is one of those things where this is it sad happens my a lot. Grandmother. This is not as sad as oh, you okay. <laughs> I live. I love you, Clutch. Don't, don't be an asshat. <laughs> They're all so, trying to follow the rules, you're not helping. <laughs> um, I also uh, had a heart attack a few years ago. And as a result, people have... <laughs> These are funny things. Thank you. Nobody else is participating. Where did you have your heart attack? I had my heart attack in the doctor's chest. office, which was actually kind of fun. I was in, in the line at the pharmacy to buy to pick up some drugs, and I had a heart attack. And actually, on the way to the uh, hospital, my phone goes off. It buzzes, and I actually check it because it was a 30-minute ride to the to the hospital, and you know they had me on life support. And it was my friend Zayfan texting me because I had not picked the name of my Deadpool uh, team. He went ahead and named it Code Blue. <laughs> Oh, God, Zay. So when I come out of uh, surgery, because they put a stent in, I come out of surgery, and, and uh, my wife says, do you want to let people know that you're doing okay? Here's your phone. First person I called was Jeff. She says, are you sure you don't want to call your family? I was like, no, this is too good. <laughs> so, um, you know, you already know that I am uh, scared to death, but uh, you've heard I have a lemon for a body. Uh, my friends often tell me that it's rule number two, rule number two for me, uh, it's going to take a double tap to kill me. Um, anybody want to venture what a good nickname would be for me, besides Wiser? Dick. What? Third time's a charm. Third time's a charm. Throw her a shirt. <laughs> You're going to have to come up to get your shirt. <laughs> um, seriously, you know, one of the things that you want to do with a handle, it needs to just be able to write off the tongue. Third time's charm might be a little bit too, hard, too long when you're calling me on the phone. There you go. See, now everybody understands how this game is played. So we're going we're gonna to go ahead and we're going to take our ten volunteers. Each of the volunteers is going to say five things about themselves, and then we're going to all, um, the, the panel is going to try and bestow a nickname. We are happy to take <laughs> volunteers from the audience to also bestow nicknames. Um, please do not just simply say something and then put kitty at the end. <laughs> you want to volunteer? All right. Well, let you be the first one. Hey, can you guys uh, help uh, wrangle the volunteers, please, Jeremy? Yeah. Yeah. Jay. Yes, sir. There you go. All right, so raise your hands. Let's see. Uh, you and the stripes, because we want to have a little bit Down of there. diversity. Oh, uh, very nice. I got it. Oh, they're going to choose. We get to pick whoever wants. I like the guy back here with the beard. Yeah. So do we all get to just go pick someone? What's that? Do we all just get to go pick someone? Yeah. Hey, what Jeremy. I, yeah, really, how about that guy These right guys there? Are starting that to guy, right? Yeah, you. You. 
Okay. That, ah, I pick him. That's going to be fun. We got 10? All right. Jay, you can't get back in line. What? <laughs> you go to the front. No. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and start. Please introduce yourself. I'm from the Pacific Northwest. I've been to Antarctica. I'm an autodidact. I've been playing with computers longer than I can count, but I know squat. Diddle it. <laughs> she says she plays with computers. Yeah. No. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's a good one too. Well, a diddly parenthetical squat. Thank you. Actually, if you could come up, I would like to give you a shirt because you are fun. Diddly. All right, diddly. diddly. Thank exactly. you very much for participating. Everybody, give diddly a shirt. If you want, Diddly is available after the show. You can talk. <laughs> um, you can tell her how to use computers. <laughs> All right. Next. Okay, I'm from New York. I, I'm going to run the New York City Marathon for the first time this year. Um, I have four kids. I. Um, would never usually be up here, but since you all said to participate, I'm participating. So it's completely out of character. Completely, completely. Um, and I have a twin sister that would be up here. She would, she's completely outgoing. So I have a twin sister. Hmm. Okay. That's interesting. That's interesting. Yeah. Can we get just a little bit more information? Sure. And, okay. <laughs> I started off kind of hacking when I was a kid, and then got married, had kids, and just got back to it within like a year or so ago. I was doing like math, teaching college math. Chaser. Chaser? Who said chaser? I like that. Chaser? Chaser. That sounds good. Woo! I like Everybody that. welcome Chaser here in New Come on up, I got a shirt for you too. This is awesome. Uh, okay. There you go. Thank you very much. That's awesome. And get back in here. Alright, next. Hi, so let's see. I just moved to the Seattle area from Baltimore, Maryland. Um, I was an army brat growing up, so I got to live all over the world. Hua! Hua! Um, <laughs> a new development in my life. Um, so when I was younger, I was actually um, studying classical music, and I dropped out to take care of my mother, who is also a cancer survivor. Moved back to the farm, took care of her for a while. Um, moved to Baltimore, got back to school, and I just finished a master's degree in computer forensics. And it's the first master's degree in my family, so it's kind of a big deal. <laughs> That's kind of awesome. Cool. Thank you. What do you do for fun? Um, I like hiking. I like yoga. Um, oh, and I'm actually, my mentor actually calls me Padawan, but it's hilarious to me because I'm a total Trekkie. <laughs> <laughs> Best nerd ever. <laughs> B and E. B and E. There you go. B and E. We actually, that is, that's an awesome story. Best nerd ever. And you are B and E for fun. Awesome, thanks. Welcome to the community, B and E. Yay. I hope that's the right size. One more up. Try again, she says. Yeah. Let's. So, I gave a shirt to a friend, and he looked at it, and he's like, are these in European sizes? <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, I didn't size him properly either. All right, let's step up, sir. Hi. Um, first uh, security conference for me. Um, sorry, kind of nervous. Uh, 
I'm uh, allergic to a lot of things. I'm the reason you guys can't eat peanuts on the airplane. Um, nice. That so uh, I'm allergic to lettuce, which is strange, and people usually don't believe me. But uh, <laughs> so, yeah, it was really painful when my parents made me eat my veggies as a kid until we figured out what was going on there. Um, I really like snowboarding, and uh, I used to in college race boats. Um, so, yeah. Epi. I don't know. Epi. 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 <laughs> Is it also informative if you hear Epi? Just don't. No peanuts. No, come on. <laughs> Are you allergic to cotton? <laughs> Large? Aye. Okay, there you go. Again, thank you, Epi. All right, we got it. All right, I'm sure that you've got a good story for us, sir. I got involved in hacking because my things were always breaking. And that just wasn't okay. I like to people watch. I'm curiosity driven. I'm in front of a mic, and wow, this is interesting. Okay, tell us, what do you do for fun? Computers, <laughs> primarily. <laughs> Sometimes I watch TV. You're not entirely crazy. That means that you at least get out a little bit. Um, what else do you do for fun? Friday Night Magic. Uh, <laughs> you know, you're, um, Trench coat. One track. There you go. I'm liking this one. We're gonna we're, we're gonna shelf that one for a second. Um, you know, tell us a, a little bit more. You know, about yourself. How did you get here? Who are you here with? Tinker. I actually managed to sell my employer that this was uh, good professional development. <laughs> And are you uh, here by yourself? No, I actually got one of my coworkers here with me. Oh, it's okay. not his first time, though. Okay. Well, fantastic. I actually do like one track because, you know, it does kind of... You were focused, sir. And uh, I think I'll that, you know, one track? that's going to be good. Yeah, okay. Sound good? Yep, I like it. All right. Thank you for audience participation. And welcome to one track. Time now. Better than eight track. Yeah, that's my fault. <laughs> There's a lot of space between you and that mic, sir. Yeah, you may need to step up. Thank you. Closer. Closer. Close. Open your mouth. Closer. <laughs> um. <laughs> All right. Okay. So I'm relatively new to the security field. I just started this past year. It was my junior year in college. I got involved in uh, UW Tacoma Security Group and then got involved up, in, up at UW Seattle and I'm mm -hmm. actually coming from UW Seattle with the, a bunch of UW guys. Um, I'm majoring in computer science. Shout out to the guy before me. I am very into Magic the Gathering. I play a lot of Commander. Um, so, uh, yeah. Hi, <laughs> right, you go. We need to come up with a couple questions Mike. to like. Yeah, go ahead. We need to, let's see. Um, magic Mike. Oh, well, Magic Mike. Magic, magic Mike. Mike. <laughs> Done. Next. Magic Mike. <laughs> magic Mike. Come on. Even magic if it's Mike. not Mike. We're going to like. Welcome. What? Planeswalker. Oh, yeah. Actually, who is your favorite planeswalker? Or I guess. This is, and well, do you have your cards? I do, I do not have my cards, but the one commander deck that I play is based off of Kara Metra. It's a green-white creatures deck. And What's the complicated name you gave your deck? Um, Kara Metra's Creature Crew. <laughs> C-Cube? I like it. C-Cube. C-Cube. All right. Okay. I'm assuming they're all Cs. Yeah, you yeah. Are no longer if not, they are. What? So you're no longer Magic Mike, apparently. You're C Cube. C -cubed. C -cubed. Okay. Welcome C Cube to the community. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's actually great, Russ. <laughs> Russ said if he gets angry, he's now C three PO. <laughs> if he's angry, he's C three PO now. <laughs> Fist me. <laughs> oh, that's so awesome. All right. 
All right. You, uh, sir, have to have a good story. Uh, like, hopefully I do. Um, this is my first time at the conference. Um, I'm originally from Jamaica. I love motorcycles. I actually have four. Wow. Um, I actually, funny enough, I got into security kind of by accident. When I got my first computer when I was 10 years old, I vowed never to learn hacking because I didn't want to go to jail. <laughs> Coincidentally enough, I started learning it at a federal agency, so now I do it for a living. Um, fun stuff, I mean, like I said, I love my motorcycle riding, I love sports, I play soccer. Um, always get asked, if, why don't I play basketball? I don't really like basketball. He looks so like Neil's are Mark, so, you know, but uh, that's the bulk of it. Um, what position do you play? Um, normally I'm in midfield to defense when I play soccer, but, um, you know, but I can switch around depending on what I, what I want. Okay. Okay. okay, so this one, this one's gonna be a little special to us. Um, <laughs> it, is, it is, and I'll explain here in a second. It's gonna be epitome. Okay. And it's because uh, we have a lot, like I said, we have a lot of people that we love in this con, and some of the, some of the, one of the artists, especially, is her husband. And we have Mar, who actually did all the artwork for this. And you look like the epitome of what they draw when they draw a hacker. <laughs> Thank you very much. I appreciate it. And uh, you didn't get a good story, so uh, good luck topping that. Right? <laughs> Thank you. Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, I'm from Miami. I guess it goes without saying that I was a little nervous walking up here until I heard that. A lot of you guys are into fisting, so. <laughs> Miami fisting. <laughs> there it is. Um, Kids, cover your eyes. <laughs> um, I guess a few things. I like hats. I definitely like dancing, so I might be that guy that you see in the hallways, and I'm not twitching or anything like that, just like when Let, the Let's see strikes. something. I'm sorry? Let's, let's see, see something. You. Put on some music, yo. I don't do it for free. <laughs> Not bad. Pretty good beatboxing, man. I like that. No, no. Oh, okay. No, that has a different <laughs> like, oh, okay. <laughs> no, I saw where you Sad. went with that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good, good catch. Um, <laughs> Wiggles. Wiggles. Oh, my God. <laughs> that is the kind of nickname that you can wear with pride. That would be acceptable. <laughs> are you good with that one? Uh, that, yeah, I, sure. Personally, <laughs> I would own the crap out of that. Wiggles. Yeah, yeah. Wiggles. If it's nice. Wiggles. Yeah. Mr. Wiggles. <laughs> 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 Oh, oh, we're fisting. Yeah, we're fisting. I forgot that. I, I'm sorry, sir. Mr. Wiggles. <laughs> All right. I love it. I love it. Goddamn, I'm short. Uh, so the first thing about me is that my memory Brethren. Yeah. <laughs> my memory's so bad I wrote down five things about myself in case I forgot them by the time I got up here. Uh, but I'm not nervous because public speaking doesn't bother me. Uh, I've seen 106 metallic shows in 13 countries. I've had long hair longer than I've had short hair. Uh, I didn't meet my brothers until I was eight. Uh, I nearly went into singing instead of computers. Uh, I think that was five. Exactly. Oh, and I ride a Harley. If nah, we're good. <laughs> <laughs> push, push pin and I said it at the exact same time. OP. What? Overprepared. Is that the right size? I just got dizzy. All right, let's start the next person. All right, hi. Uh, this is my first DEF CON. Uh, I don't actually work in computers. I write for video games. That's pretty great. Uh, I first learned about DEF CON in... That? What? Say again. You said, are you telling us that it's pretty great? I am telling you. It's okay. really great. <laughs> I accept. Excellent. <laughs> transaction, transaction complete. Uh, I learned about DEF CON when I was reading a okay sci-fi book, I think in like 1999. It was called Worm by Mark Fabi. I don't know if anybody ever read that. You got really mumbly at the end. 
I, uh, I learned about DEF CON in um, a sci-fi book that first came out in 1999 or 2000. It's called Worm by Mark Fabi. One more time. Worm. W Y R M. From the beginning. Now. Stop it. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> Never mind. It doesn't matter. It's okay. Simon uh, says. <laughs> oh, he's holding the mic. I know. Look, he took it right out. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, look, he's owning it. Uh, I used to be a high school English teacher and decided I would much rather make video games. One of my favorite people is a high, high school English teacher. More power to him. I couldn't do it. She speaks good. Should we just call him Melanie? <laughs> <laughs> That'd be so confusing. I need Melanie. No, only what about, Jack. What about, wait, wait, wait. what about only dude? Only, only dude. dude. Only, only dude. dude. Are, that, are, you, are you good with that? No. No, he doesn't. <laughs> he said no. <laughs> Never mind. We're doing it. Go. Go, go. Keep uh, talking. <laughs> okay. Anyway, uh, I moved something like 2,300 miles to make games instead of teach kids. And when I got to California, uh, I Fuck had enough money kids. to buy a car. Oh, I'm sorry. And, <laughs> hmm? Nothing. Nothing. All right. And instead of buying a car, I decided I was going to buy a bright green suit of armor instead. And I... I've been very happy with that. An actual <laughs> physical suit of armor? Hmm? So you quit teaching, you start video games, and you bought a suit of armor? That is exactly what happened. <laughs> I'm so perplexed by you. There you go. <laughs> I want to hang out with him. I know. <laughs> Do you have a picture of you in the suit of armor? I will show you later, yes. It's my, it's my dating profile picture. <laughs> Is Wait. it plenty of, please tell me it's plenty of fish. Match. I have to find this. I will find, <laughs> I'm going to leave I'll show you later. This. I will find you. I'm, I'm not going to kill you though. I'm that touched. Was, uh, match. Match. <laughs> Harmony. I still don't like it. It's, it's so, I almost want to say perplex. There's so much weird. Flow. Yeah, it doesn't flow. That's what I'm saying. It's got to be something like it. Green. Who's our thesaurus? On purpose. What was that? Convolute. Too long. Yeah. Green. 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 Too long. Green suit? Green suit. I don't know what that means. All right, one at a time. Chaos. Wow, good. Green knight. Green knight. Green knight. It's, uh, oh, okay. so. What? What? Greaves. Greaves. Oh. Greaves. G R E A V S. Oh. S E R N T N I. Armor Greaves. P R. Greaves. Armor Greaves. 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 But that was, see, that was just such a small part of his story. It was like the suit. It doesn't matter. That's, there it is. That's his dating Where's picture. But whoever dates him is but going to do it because of that. But the, the armor I is only so. for his dating. So it's got to be dating. I'm perplexed. <laughs> I no, you're crypt. <laughs> oh, thank you. Oh, now he gets it right, right? Crypt you. Crypt you. I don't know. I'm out of this one. I'm washing my hands. I want to see that picture, but I'm washing my hands of this one. Bring the picture up. Bring a picture up. Bring the picture up. Now? You want to see it now? Bring a picture up. Green Knight? Yeah, Green Knight. I actually like it. I, okay. Green... Oh, we got a picture. Green Knight. Oh, yeah, no, I got to see it first. something off of Pixar. It didn't happen. All right, everybody. Oh, Green Knight. Pixar didn't happen. Let's be playing. Oh, All right, he's going to take a minute and he's going to uh, bring up his profile picture. So, can we get that picture on the projector? We want it on the projector. I don't think that's thumb drive. I don't have it. Seriously? You have a thumb drive. Give us a thumb drive. Who's got a thumb drive? Oh. Walk it up. Walk it up. Walk it up. Yeah. We'll figure out a way to get that up there, but I'm, actually, this is amazing, cool. guys. I, awesome. <laughs> this is right. awesome. It says, hell yes. it says hell yes. It says hell yes. This is amazing. So call him hi. Okay, Mel, hold on. Mel, hi. you're hi. an English teacher, guys, right? Guys, guys. Describe this to us. <laughs> Describe this. It looks like he's wearing like yellow knee pads. <laughs> And spiky shoulders. Not on your life, sir. <laughs> Thank you. It's, no. I do appreciate it. It's pretty it great. It's, okay. Yeah, it's great. It's so, so legit, right? I can't believe that. that hey. so, um, 
We Who are you? Guys. Uh, green Knight. <laughs> green Knight. Green Knight. Green Knight. That's we amazing. That's, that's so cool. I right. double dog dare everybody. <laughs> totally double dog dare everybody here. Reach out. Find somebody with something in common that you don't already know. Make a friend. You know, uh, do something. Get yourself involved. Because that's what makes this conference fun. And, you know, please, whoever, uh, if you participated t today, thank you. Because it's absolutely awesome. Because it's not, you know, that's not the kind of thing that most people do. And to be able to get up, tell the story, and have us address you and give you your nickname, please wear it with can pride. I, can I say something real quick? Yep. Okay. A lot of people ask, how can I get involved? How can I be a goon? And the answer is, you know, officially, well, we like to promote people we trust. So the only way to gain that trust is experience. If you want to help, if you want to be involved in something, you have to take the leap and interact with other people, especially those in charge, and say, what do you need? And not always, I, I know a lot of people would be like, what the fuck, why is she saying this? Don't wait to be told what to do. The best way to help is to step in and say, I can help you with that, or I can go get that for you. And once you do that, you, you, you help somebody else, you, you break the ice, you make friends. I can't tell you how many noobs I've met and my husband has met and my friends have met that are now gooning. They showed up, they got involved, they interacted, they're gooning. Here's one right here behind you. It's his second year. Number two. And what's he? He's a goon. Because That's his handle. That's his handle. If, you, if you have the motivation and, and the drive and the fr spirit to make this con what you want it to be, because it's what you make it. If you don't like something, do something about it. Don't just complain. Do something about it. Join. Say, hey, have you ever thought of doing it this way? Or have you ever thought about having a village for this or a contest for this or an event for that? Just step up. And if you're, if you're you know, a, a cool person, then you end up like this asshole behind me. Hey. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm I not know, supposed to be cursing. Nice. Perfect. Five seconds, man. <laughs> All right, we're going to go ahead and uh, um, we've got a few minutes briefly for questions. I right, stand up please. Yeah, so there's an international meetup in the chill out space tomorrow for Friday at 6 p.m. So what's the question? question? No. Say is this, is there? Is there. <laughs> is there. Phrase, it's Jeopardy. Yeah. Frame it in the form of a question, please. Yes. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> I will talk about that. Hey, if you have a question. International Defcon meetup tomorrow, 6 p.m. in the chill out space. It says on the back of the card, it's dangerous to go alone. Meet up. Hey, Thanks. if you have a question, use the mic so everyone can hear you. Thank you, Jesse. Oh, I don't, hey, I don't mind repeating. That's, that's why we put them here. And they're all over the con now. You now have a voice, too. <laughs> all right. I feel so motivated. Any other questions? Yes. What's that? How many people did you have to know what the thing is in order to get involved? Thank you. Okay, you go. You just have to want to learn. Yeah. If you got given a handle, please come oh. see me before you leave. Mic drop. Did everybody get that? If you got given a handle, please see me before you leave. Um, any it's, other questions? Especially GK. You, sir, stand up. <laughs> it's canceled tomorrow. Every year, yeah. every year that happens, and it's, this year they actually put a lot of effort into it. I like the whole web page with the, uh, the facts. That actually was kind of fun. But no, DEF CON is not canceled. <laughs> you, sir. Yeah, get there early. That's really the only advice that we can give you. If you see that something's good, try to get there early. 
attend the, pre the previous talk. Attend that talk and, and see what it's like. You know, the, and you might find that the talk in advance is something interesting. So I'm going to jump in here for a second because, well, that's decent advice. As an operations guy, I will tell you, last year we had 165,000 square feet. We have 320,000 square feet this year. We also have a crap ton of reg grannies, a lot more desks. Everything's pre-bagged, thanks to Jay and uh, Cryptier. Um, I'm never letting that go. <laughs> um, so those lines that you're having issues with are going to go very, very quickly. If you guys fill those rooms, I will be shocked, in incredibly shocked. Thank you, Jay. I didn't even see your lips move. Yeah. <laughs> ten. Oh my goodness! The answer is ten. Thank you. All right. Thanks, guys. I appreciate it, everybody. If you have additional questions, come see me. I'll see you all at opening ceremonies tomorrow.